Welcome back to Fanboy Radio. On TV. That's right. <laughs> We're here with our main event. That's right. Ed Brubaker, writer of Captain America, Uncanny X-Men, Criminal, Criminal co-writer of Iron Fist, yes. writer of Daredevil, list goes on and on, but mainly the reason why he is here, the reason why he is the most controversial, controversial creator of comics. Right now. He killed Captain America, Oliver. Ed, what's going on, man? Hey, thanks for having me on the show. Hey, man, uh, you've been all over the place lately. Now, you had a long, distinguished career leading up to this point. That's right. But it doesn't seem like everybody's forgotten all the stuff you've done, and all they want to talk about is Captain America being dead. So that's where we're going to start. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you do it, man? Why'd you do it? <laughs> my, wife, my wife wanted to redo the basement. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a very um, good no, answer. just kidding. <laughs> But no, seriously, I, people know why you did it if they read the previous issues. I mean, it, this was a buildup. This wasn't just a, a one-time event. Yeah. I mean, it came out of the Civil War with trees to, to do it the way that it was done. But I had a big storyline planned where the Red Skull was going to come back and take revenge on everybody. And that story kind of got morphed into the one that we're doing now, basically. You took elements of your own story arc and then had a right time and place because of Civil War. Exactly. I, I, I just feel, you know, I think the big grief we've been talking about is maybe this death should have been in Civil War. It felt like kind of the conclusion of the story. Do you, do you feel differently? Um, yeah. <laughs> well, that's good. Well, you're allowed. <laughs> I wouldn't have had Cap 25 otherwise. Well, yeah. But also, when um, when you have a character like Captain America, when they die, shouldn't they be killed by their arch enemy? Uh, yeah, yeah, I would agree with that. I, I've been one of the people who've been saying it should have been done in Civil War, and I, I take the point well. It just felt like you got the biggest part of Civil War. Well, okay. <laughs> but I, I created the, the story the way that it shakes out. I mean, the only time I can ever remember us talking about having it in Cap, have, having a Cap die in Civil War Three, is I think JMS at one point suggested that Miriam Sharp should step out of a crowd and shoot him. And that seemed, that's like the way Lee Harvey Oswald goes down. That's not the way Captain America goes down. Captain America gets gets killed the way American icons and heroes get killed. That's so, a good point. So he gets shot out in front of the courthouse. Here's my question. Captain America, he has fought everybody with a shield. Yeah. He gets shot four times dead. 50 Cent <laughs> got shot nine times, still alive, yeah. still walking around. What, what's the point of man? What's the point of armor? You know... The whole point of these guys is any one of them could walk in front of a bullet at any moment. You take Captain America's shield away, you put him in some sort of chains, you, you know, he's in bad shape, he's, he's, he's being led upstairs, anyone can shoot him. Mm. I mean, we're all of us fragile. <coughs> See? See? Yeah. See? Exactly. <laughs> and as if to illustrate. No, I, I really have enjoyed your Captain America run. We're giving you a hard time because when you lose a le when you lose a legend or someone's favorite character, they're gonna take it personally. Is that even fair? It shouldn't be fair because this was a part of storytelling. I think one of the things that another thing we wanted it maybe to be in Civil yes. War. Uh, we thought that it was weird that the public was so against Captain America, even if he was. I don't know, in the underground against Tony Stark in Civil War. Did you understand people's no, I, reaction I, to I questioning? I, I thought it was kind of weird that the public was so much on Tony's side too. And that's one of the most interesting things that we get to explore in Cap now, which is the way the public can get completely wrapped up in something and not think about the consequences. Mm. And now Captain America's dead and America's reeling. Well, now, okay. That's a good point. 
Uh, the guys, you guys at Marvel have been on the record as saying dead is dead. Mm. Steve Rogers yeah. is dead. Well, is he? Is he dead? Well, Steve Rogers, is he dead? He's dead now. Okay. Okay, okay. okay. so Steve Rogers He's is dead. dead. Captain America, I, however, know, not. Is that correct? Uh, no, Captain America's dead for now, at least. Okay. Well, I my don't question see anyone is. putting on that costume anytime soon. Okay. Okay, well, I guess that answers my question because I want to know are you going to try to <laughs> fill in with somebody? Is somebody else going to pick well, that the, up? Well, the, the, the story isn't, isn't over. I mean, you're going to continue writing this comic book, oh, right? Yeah. Yeah, I've got I've got lots of great stuff in store. Okay. It it's more about Captain America now than it really was when he was in the book. Huh. Well, I have well, to I have to be honest. He's such a big character. It is he a big character. Up everything with you know these giant action sequences, and it's hard to get to the meat of of the icon of who he is in a way. It's also it's really hard to talk with this echoing in my own ear. Sorry if I pause a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that that's okay good. because I think first of all I appreciate you coming on the show. I appreciate oh, you sure. coming and telling us uh, all about Cap. And even though it looked like we were trying to get you for killing off Cap, but that's what oh, we're no, here for. No. Yeah. As so, <laughs> so remember, <laughs> if you uh, if you want to come back talk about any of the other stuff you're doing, maybe uh, some of the other issues. We would love to have you on the show. Yeah, because oh, we've got course, like 10 other course. books you're working on that we could have been talking about, too. But this is just the hot thing of the day. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, I was surprised. I expected to get death threats and all sorts <laughs> of stuff, but I haven't gotten any really, really anything that bad. No, I, I uh, think... You know, some hate mail, some you're an asshole and you should be fired. Right. But not so much. Well, a couple well, times someone accused me of killing Captain America to promote my liberal agenda, <laughs> and that that seems kind of ridiculous. The Red Skull killed Captain America, and he's hardly a liberal. Right. <laughs> well, first of all, Ed Brubaker, thank you so much for being on the yeah. show with us. And we oh, want to warn people: don't go stalking him now that he said he doesn't have a stalker and he might need one. No, don't go yeah, look. No, at that's not a one. vacancy. <laughs> he's written a good book. I don't book. need a stalker. Thank you so much, Ed. Hey, thank you, man. We'll come back. Thanks a lot for having me. Uh -huh. Awesome. Wow. Ed Brubaker. Ed Brubaker. Now, we, you got to be tough with these guys. Uh -huh. You got to show them. <laughs> we're in, us fans, us readers, we're on to them. Well, I, I, you know, that's why I said I'd be caught in a weird place. I love the book. Yeah. yeah I love the book. I love the way he writes it. I love the art. Yeah, but, Steve Epting. But Captain America's dead, you know, and how are you going to be behind that? Well. Captain America is dead and Batrock the leader.